Tulsa man is behind bars in California tonight, accused in the murders of a mother and a four-year-old girl. Police say the suspect is 22-year-old Brandon Colbert Jr. New at 9, Fox 23, Sarah Whaley is live in downtown Tulsa with when this investigation started. Sarah. That double murder happened back in August. Since then, the Long Beach Police Department has been here at the Tulsa Police Department so they could interview the suspect's family. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill them? That's what you can hear this woman saying in Spanish as she cries in disbelief. She is the mother of this woman, 26-year-old Karina Mancera, and grandmother to 4-year-old Jennibel Anaya. Police say both were shot and killed at point-blank range in a California double murder that now has Tulsa ties. I would say that he knew who he was shooting. According to Crime Watch Daily, who got this interview and the others, detectives are calling this one of the most heinous crimes ever to hit the city of Long Beach. I don't know how any person, any human being could ever do what this man did. And Monday, Sergeant Robert Woods and his team were finally able to announce an arrest. 22-year-old Brandon Colbert Jr. is behind bars as the accused killer in the case, and he is from right here in Tulsa. Detectives say Colbert hopped on a bus here in Tulsa just 72 hours before those victims were killed. Police say Colbert reportedly shot man Sarah and Anaya just as they were returning home from the grocery store in August. Husband and father Luis Anaya told police he was shot at as well, but was not hit. Look at this surveillance video released by Long Beach Police. They say just minutes after the crime, you can see the suspect who they say is Colbert wiping off his head and neck while in a convenience store. Police say they still don't know a motive, but they aren't ruling out that other people could be involved. And Long Beach police are crediting a DNA swab for helping them to crack this case. On Fox 23 News at 10, I'm working to learn more about that and also more about the suspect's past criminal history here in Tulsa. Reporting live here in downtown, covering news that matters, Sarah Whitley, Fox 23 News.